to write you this song Two hours a day Five months in a year Oh, I loved you too long beautiful people good morning we are in San Martin de los Andes and today we drive one of the most beautiful road on the Ruta 40 on the highway number 40 that is called Ruta de los Siete Lagos that it means the road of the seven lakes the interesting fact is that there are not just seven lakes there are more than seven lakes it's just called like this because they cannot call it the Ruta of the hundred thousand lakes <laughs> so in fact there are seven really famous lakes but you can find small lake lagoons uh, rivers it's really a beautiful area they call this area the switzerland of south america we can wait to see and to explore together with you it's really windy out there super windy we are officially in patagonia yes uh, actually since we enter in neuken we are in patagonia if you haven't watched the video just click here <laughs> uh, with the video of Neoken. Patagonia is huge. It's uh, Neoken is part of the northern Patagonia where actually is not freezing. The yeah. weather is really hot. Are you ready to go on the road? Yes, yeah, dude. It's uh, it's super windy as you can see outside. Uh, yeah. The wind. It's crazy. It's full of uh, other overlanders. Uh. We are parked on this beautiful free campground parking lot with others a lot of other motorhomes buses campers this is the last lake of the ruta 40 the yeah, ruta of the usually yes. people start from south from san carlos de bariloche that is the first town south bariloche and they, yes and the, the ruta is 190 kilometers 119 miles uh, starting from south and the ruta just comes up uh, until San Martin de los Andes. This lake is called Lake Lacar. If you didn't notice, uh, we are trying and we are testing today for the first time our gimbal with our camera. So we hope to do a great job. And we are thinking about doing a behind the scenes video about uh, how we manage film. to film, how we film how to edit, how to do the drone footages. Yeah. So if you like the idea, please comment below and we will be more than happy to prepare a video and to create a content just about this, behind the scenes of a new video. Yeah, we are inspiring a lot of people to leave everything in wonder and start a YouTube channel traveling. So there is a lot of people asking us uh, how to do it, uh, what gear do we use, uh, yes. what software. So it's it's nice to share some behind the scenes uh, and uh, yeah. If you are able to share with other people what you learn along the way, why not? I keep and we are entering Parque Nacional Lanin. It's beautiful. What do you think? Wow, well, this road is amazing because uh, we are just on the side of the lake. Uh, beautiful. It reminds me of Como Lake. In Como Lake you have all this road that is following the lake and it's just amazing. Stop, uh, let's go. Two rivers.
The first stop, guys, it's called Arrojo Partido, that is mean the split river. Because there is one river that bleeds in two, and one side will go to the Pacific Ocean, and the other side will go to the Atlantic Ocean. And just here behind of us, you will see the splitting point. Wow! are just here and you will see one side it will cross Chile and it go to Oceano Pacifico the other side will go to Neuquén where we were just yesterday and then it will go to the Oceano Atlantico to see a beautiful waterfall. stop wherever you want on this road and you can see lakes, waterfalls it's getting really touristy I read that uh, last year if you want to camp inside a campground you pay two dollars, three dollars now you pay like five, six dollars per person so it's getting expensive it's summertime even if it's ice season we were able to find a free camp spot that is called Lago Villarino and it's just on the lake. So on one side we have Lago Faulkner and on the other side we have Lago Villarino. I will show you now. Okay, Campo Villarino. Here you can see what you can do. So it's possible to fish, it's possible to camp. It's possible to do a fire. We are looking for the perfect spot. Most of them are already taken. Ooh, you can see the lake there. Tents, Tents. cars, oh, yeah. campers. Ooh. We park Lucky Liu in the perfect spot just in front of the lake I will show you right now where we are beautiful people Flying the drone? Let's show them from the drone, come here. Yes.
stop in our amazing can spot. Uh, look the view out there. Sara, what are you preparing? Preparing two sandwiches with cheese and a salsa tornata that is tuna fish sauce. Something really easy, guys, because we don't have a lot in our fridge because we will cross soon into Chile again and then we will cross soon into Argentina again. So, um, because of the, all this border crossing, it's better not to have our fridge full of fresh vegetables and fresh fruits. And we are trying to use and to buy just what we need for the day. And we don't have so much, so we are trying to eat. Okay, easy. so there, there is the salsa tonata. Here she's. We are just uh, warming up the the bread. Here is warming up uh, here the bread. Mm -hmm. we, bought this, uh, we bought this cheese that is called queso cremon. It's a fresh cheese. It's really typical from Argentina. This is the view yeah, nice. of the lake. Uh, on one side, on the other side, we have the view of the mountains up there. Time to eat. Time to eat something. Good evening beautiful people, so we are back here in Lucky Liu to share more of our lives uh, to you guys. We usually download uh, some uh, movies, uh, some uh, web series uh, on Netflix on our phone, so every time we are with no internet connection we can watch them. After the sunset we just uh, lay down here in the bed uh, and uh, watch the little prince. Uh, was amazing. Sara is uh, preparing some Ciao, dinner. Beautiful people. I'm preparing some carrots, some salad tonight. I was so curious to see the little prince because I read the book, but I was curious to see the movie and I was surprised. I really enjoyed the movie. Did you cry? Oh yeah, I got emotional <laughs> at least four or five times. Basically what the movie said, what the little prince said, is that the essential is invisible to the eyes, but is visible for the heart. So what is really essential for our lives, you cannot see with the eyes, because it's not something that is beauty or something that you can see, but it's something that you can feel. And I agree with that, 100%. We are people who like to feel, to feel emotions, uh, to experience. Uh, so we are more about uh, things you cannot touch, uh, but things you can uh, feel and do. And then another thing, there is not just one way of living. A lot of people think they just need to follow a rule, what society tells you to do in your life. But you can be creative, you can build your own life you can follow your your own dreams and uh, doesn't matter if you don't wake up every day at 6 a.m or you don't do the same job for all your life you can build your own life the way you want so this is really important we are not all the same okay beautiful people so we'll have dinner and we will catch you up tomorrow morning we love you guys. Good night from Lucky Liu to all the world. See you tomorrow. Ciao. Good morning beautiful people from Lucky Liu. Good morning everyone. We hope you have a wonderful morning, evening. We are on the Ruta de los Siete Lagos here in Argentina and we are preparing breakfast. Let me turn the music down. Okay, so let's see the temperature today. Outside is nice, 68 uh, outside, 72 inside. Sarah is preparing breakfast. Good morning, beautiful people. Okay, as you know, I love coffee in the morning. So this is my mocha, Bialetti. This is a small one, it's for two, three people in Italy because we used to drink espresso coffee. Espresso is really short. short. <laughs> I used to drink this by myself. And look what I found here in Argentina. I'm super happy, guys. This is my favorite coffee. This is not an ad. This is like reality. This is really my favorite coffee, is Lavazza. And it's uh, usually I drink the Qualita Rosa, that is red quality, but I, f I, I found Crema Gusto, that is cream and flavor, something like this. Mm -hmm. 
and it's just unbelievable good guys what would you like to drink my love this morning milk and chocolate perfect okay so this is the coffee it's a little dark mm. Sara is washing, we have our I'm water washing. pump. Uh, we use potable water for uh, our tank as well, but we don't drink the water from our sink. We used to store potable water in this portable water tank, water bottles, and then we, we drink just this one because we, you know, you don't know what is inside the tank of the camper. This camper is 1995. It's okay to use it for brushing your teeth and for washing the the plate or the stuff but not to it's not drinking water it's not in, it's not good enough It tastes like home. I never understood the word they said. Kept running in the woods alone instead. Somewhere, somehow, I guess I lost it all. Try to keep it up. Why don't you stay, stay, cause I can really use a friend Stay, please stay, cause my heart really needs a man Somewhere, somehow, I guess I lost it all Stay, stay here with me I'm trying to make it up for my mistakes but everywhere I turn, some hearts will break Something, someone will end up getting hurt again There's no need to play pretend Why don't you stay, stay, cause I can read Go ahead, uh, we're leaving this campground. Uh, let's hit the road again. Ciao! The roads here and the nature reminds me a little bit of Canada, of uh, Bowen Island. Uh, it's where we start uh, all these adventures. So yes. if you're interested uh, to know how everything started check the video up here when we were in Boen Island uh, Wufin I think more south we are going more north it will we, remind it will reminds us without the memories we have seen so many different landscapes so many different environments starting from north northern Alaska and driving south here to Patagonia we are accomplishing our dream to drive all the Pan American Highway from north to south, from the Arctic Ocean to Ushuaia. It's crazy and it's beautiful at the same time. Yeah, it's hard to make videos here, to do videos. Uh... We are since uh, two days without internet connection, without any kind of service, like no signal, no so signal we at are, all. We are completely off grid, that's why it's so hard for us uh, to re reply to all your comments. Uh, we're able to read them as soon as we get internet, but it's really hard to, to us to reply and also to upload the videos on YouTube. We edit the videos and then we plan, we program the video on YouTube so that we know that at least the video are coming up on, uh, on YouTube in time. 
let's show you this uh, Lake Correntoso. This is our view, guys. Uh, check it out. <laughs> there are these beautiful birds. <laughs> We're back, guys! <laughs> 360 view! 360 view. Let's uh, show them the. Yeah, let's birds. go outside. Yes, let's go. Please. Ladies first. Ladies first. Alright, uh, guys, we are speaking inside the truck because you cannot notice it, but it's really windy. And even if you're using the microphone, it's quite impossible to speak outside. You will just hear. <laughs> so we record a voice inside the truck, inside Lucky View, and then we show you the landscape outside. With some beautiful music uh, yes. that Sara always chooses uh, beautiful music for our videos. Thank you, Sara. Thank you, thank you. Let's go! <laughs> made a new friend. Oh no. Oh no. She doesn't like you, Sara. I love they have this green plumage. When they open, when they are trying to fly, you, you can see, you can see this one. Okay, this is the area. We started from here, San Martin de los Andes, with the Lake Lacar. And then we went down Lake Maconico, Lake Hermoso, Lake Villarino, where we slept last night. This is the Ruta 2. 34. We went down here and now we are at Villa Langostura here. And then if you want you can go down. This is the big lake Nahue Wapi to San Carlos de Bariloche. But I think we will cross into Chile here following the 231 and doing this paso that is called Paso Samore. So this is the, a beautiful area that we are exploring. It's nice to see here on the map. You know that we love maps because you can have the idea where you are and where you are traveling through. Now we will go to eat. We are at the tourism office. Really nice. We love tourism office where you can use the Wi-Fi. You can ask for the information. Mm. Menu del dia today. We are traveling now through Central and South America since a long time and it's uh, interesting how the Spanish people they have a different dialect. We are in Villa Langostura. Here in Argentina they pronounce the double L differently. Yes, yeah, so usually the double L you spell it Y, you would say Villa because double L is like Y. Here it's like um, Sh. So it's uh, Visha La Angostura or Yo, that it means I, usually it's a Yo, and uh, here it's a Jo. 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 It's really strong, it's really strong accent. So in the beginning, when people, Argentines, they start to talk with us, they were really sh 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 and say, wow, what are they talking about? And now we are getting used to this new dialect, Spanish dialect, but it's really interesting, I think. Guys, uh, now we will eat. We have our lunch here, so talk to you later. We are 
are still in Villa Langostura, we will sleep here, we'll camp here, boondocking in a free parking spot. In the city. Yeah, we are walking in the city center, it's really small but it's really nice. How many people live here? Uh, 15,000. So it's small, a small town. Small town. We will need to rest because tomorrow is a big day. You will discover in the next video why. We love you guys, we appreciate you, we hope you enjoy all our contents. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel if you haven't done already. I'm Sara. I'm Luca. Luca. We are Live Everything in Wonder. Our truck camper is Lucky Liu. We are traveling from Alaska to Argentina. We are currently in Patagonia, Argentina. Heading down to Ushuaia. Yes, guys. We love you. See you in the next one. Ciao. Good night. We will leave you with this beautiful sunset. Yes. Look at that. Ciao guys! <laughs>